Hello viewers, you are watching International Wild. Kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get notification of the latest uploaded videos. In Niger the ousted Lee Niger they ousted U.S. leader has urged the U.S. and entire international community to help restore constitutional order after last week's coup writing in the Washington Post President Mohamed Bazoum said he was writing as a hostage unrest has erupted in the West African state since he was overthrown. We don't know how he managed to get this message to the Washington Post he's been under military detention for a week now. Military who took power from him or actually his presidential guards that were meant to be guarding him in the presidential palace. Despite his circumstances he was really critical of the army in Niger he said. They had no vision and he defended his record because he's been accused of not taking the country's security seriously of being too allied to western powers and he said well look at my record he says that is their missed attacks, millicent attacks in the country had actually fallen under his government and then he made a call to the international community saying they should step in and try and stop this coup. He says that Niger is what he calls the last bastion one of the few countries that was still democratic and was an ally to Russia as well which is a big concern in the Sahel region where Moscow is gaining influence. The international community is listening because there have been several calls for the democratic elected government to be reinstated so from the United States from Britain from European countries even Russia where there is concern that maybe Russia might try to use this instability to gain influence the government in Russia says they want to see a return to the constitutional order. The military says it's not giving up power despite cause for it to step down despite sanctions being imposed on the military leaders in the country. There's little else that the international community can do at the moment to help the besiege the leader. In the Sahel in West Africa and so you have countries like Burkina Faso and Mali which also experience recent coups in. Mali in particular there the military government has allied itself very closely to Moscow. It's invited fighters from the Wagner paramilitary group there to help fight Islamist insurgents in the country. In Burkina Faso the government there is is forging closer allies with Moscow but there is also a cultural aspect to this as well a social political aspect which is there is a lot of resentment against western countries as well as the French former colonial power in this part of the world and people really think that should military governments take over they'll be able to kick out French forces, French influence in the region and there. Looking perhaps to rush Russia as maybe another ally a fresh ally for them as they try to rebuild their country's security or rebuild their economies. When we've seen these protests in Niger, we've seen people carrying some people carrying Russian flags and saying long live Putin, hoping that these that Moscow might come in and try and you know better their situation. But it's important to say that even where Moscow has taken a lead role for example in Mali we're still seeing Islamist attacks we're still seeing a strained economic situation so it might appear as a quick fix for frustrated people in the Sahel region but maybe long term it doesn't offer the opportunities that they might hope for.